I mentioned earlier that we were going to talk about the different models of, of disability. I'd like to now talk about what we would call the historical model. So in your manual, you'll see that there are some chapters on this. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to flick between the word medical model and uh, historical model. It's the same thing. So let's talk about the historical model of disability. What happened back in the 1800s and the early 1900s? How was disability perceived? So the medical model or the historical model was a traditional approach to disability, often reflected as a medical model which locates disability within the individual. So the theory back then was you've got a disability, it's all within you, it's up to you, so you've got to sort it out. It, the medical model treats disability as an individual problem that can be cured or at least contained. To compensate or overcome the disability, it's all targeted at the individual. So if you read the historical model in your manual, basically what that's saying is, in the early days, disability was contained in the individual. The medical profession said, we can probably fix you or cure you. That's why I talked earlier about um, big institutions. If all people with disabilities were in an institution, then the medical profession would help them all as individuals in that institution. Nothing about society. Round about 1940s, 50s, it started to change. I mentioned in my earlier uh, discussion, the, the historical model changed into now a social model. So let's talk about what is social model? The social model locates disability in society. What do we mean by that? Because I just said before, the other one, the historical model, said disability is located within the um, a person. Now we're saying disabilities in society. Right, so let's think about this. People with disabilities are, involved, are now involved in making their own decisions. And this is called capacity building. People with disabilities are involved in their own advocacy. So if they need something, they know where to go, get help. There are a lot of organisations out there that will support people with disabilities to advocate on their behalf. The social model, where we're heading now, removes barriers. Now let's talk about those barriers. We talked earlier, what are some of them? There's physical barriers, there's society barriers, and there's language barriers. We'll come back to them in just a few moments. The so society, a social model, sorry, is a very much a rights-based approach. So it's all about making sure the rights of the individual are upheld and maintained. And it's all about inclusion in society. It's not about putting people away in seclusion, in, in rest homes or whatever. It's about bringing people out of those institutions, locating them in society. So that's the difference between the two models. Let's use an example. I'll use myself as an example. I have a disability which is called scoliosis. Um, that's just one of them I've got. Um, but that's my main, uh, my main disability, or my main uh, uh, thing that causes me issues. Scoliosis is what's known as a curvature of the spine, and it limits my lung capacity, and it limits um, my ability to do certain physical things. So therefore, um, society puts up barriers for me. If we're going to say my disability is not located in me, but society creates the barriers, the barriers for me would be staircases, having to walk long distances, 
um, having to carry heavy weights, um, having to stand in queues, um, all those things are barriers that um, cause me to not be able to perform my, my daily tasks. And if you came into my world, see, I've adjusted my world now over the many, many years that I've had my disability, and most people with disabilities are the same. We adjust our world to suit us, to overcome any issues we may have, to remove those barriers. And I always say this in any of these trainings, in my world, I don't have a disability. It's society that causes my disability. If you came into my world and lived in my world, which of us will have the disability? You.